Well, hello, everybody. I'm down here in the corner, real tiny. My name's Jake Boston. Welcome to Steelbook Obsessed. I'm doing a little bit of a different video today because I'm really tiny in the corner because I think I'm uh, spreading out some secrets that some people like to not talk about so much in the spotlight. I love collecting steelbooks. And right here, just like a lot of you always do, I shop for a lot of steelbooks online because that's the only choice we have nowadays. Unfortunately, there are a lot of good steelbooks to see on Amazon. But this is US Amazon. And there are a lot of great steelbooks you can find that are outside of the US. I am pretty excited to spread the word on how easy it is to just flip from different regions of Amazon. It's kind of stupid how easy it is. And I am actually going to stop sharing the screen for a little bit. The only reason I'm not gonna show you this right away is because I don't want my address to accidentally pop up. Uh, so forgive me here, but if I just jump to a different screen, I am now going to be on Amazon France, ta-da! Look at that. The way you do that, you see this FR flag up here? You can easily change your uh, region by clicking uh, Modify Region, and you can pick whatever region of the world's Amazon you want to ship to, and you'll be able to get these steelbooks shipped your way. Here is what France has to offer. Yes, we do not have this version of The Killing Joke. We do not have this specific steelbook version of Joker. A great thing about collecting physical media nowadays is that you don't have to worry about region locking. If, if you buy a 4K disc, it's pretty, pretty amazing. And I just kind of want to scroll on different regions of Amazon that currently have different looking steelbooks. And they even have more than that. They, they have some regions have different cool steelbook sets that you can also get your hands on only in that region of the world. But right here, I don't remember seeing this steelbook of Atomic Blonde. I think it looks absolutely great. You will get the ones that we have over here in the States already. Here's Twisters. Here's Body Double. I don't remember seeing a Beetlejuice 4K and Blu-ray steelbook collection with goodies. Let's click on this sucker. See what, see what we get. See what goodies are inside. Does it show it off? Look at that sucker. That's amazing. So the UK kind of had something like this, but it didn't have that box art. I'm pretty dang sure. It's got the original poster artwork on the steelbook, a different steelbook than what we get here in the States. It has a replica handbook for the recently deceased. It's got a lot of extras, folks. And the price, $37.49. It looks like this is coming out October 2nd over in France. If we want to go and pre-order it. I guess I'm not going to put all my info in, but if we want to go and pre-order it, it'll uh, transfer everything over to USD so you don't have to do that extra step. It's kind of nice that way. Um, honestly, me looking at this uh, Beetlejuice set kind of makes me want to get it. I just love looking on different regions of Amazon and seeing what different releases they have. Here is the amazing Nightmare on Elm Street box set that in the States, we are getting the steel book with this imagery as a slip cover. If you did want, oh, does this not have the, okay, I assumed that this would have a different looking steel book. Uh, the UK is getting the original artwork on the steel book. It looks like France is not. France is just getting the uh, same artwork on the box set. That's kind of unfortunate. That, that kind of that kind of stinks a little bit. Um, again, different regions might be the same box it'll be a different steel book that's kind of a uh, kind of crazy let's keep on scrolling here i'm just trying to click on things that catch my eye i don't have any of these film vault steel books yet if they have one for jaws i might just have to bite the bullet because the artwork for jaws is great i have a box set that has this amazing artwork for shawshank redemption if you don't have any releases from the film vault i highly recommend them it comes with a slip cover that completely comes off and again this is not available in the States. This is a UK based company. They only do business in the UK currently, but that doesn't mean that it'll have to put a stop to people living in the US getting their products. I guess I can change the Google translation. There we go. That's a lot easier too. Thank you for popping that up five minutes into my stream. I appreciate that a lot. 
love that old school artwork on Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I like the U.S. Steelbook of Willy Wonka as well, but that one's not a bad one either. That's actually not... I, li I love the inside. The inside of the U.S. one is very similar. Nice looking Steelbook. Sorry, now I'm just looking at things. I'm hoping you like it. There's Jaws, but it, it doesn't say Jaws. Oh, no. I got to look at a different region because uh, that would drive me nuts to have the slipcover say, Les Dance de la Mer. No, thank you. I want Jaws, okay? Just give me Jaws, okay? Give me Jaws or give me death. I just love the way that steelbook looks. Very uh, simple yet striking. And I'm always a fan of putting slip covers over steelbooks that add like additional elements of artwork to it. I think that's so, so cool. Um, but I think we've uh, looked at France enough, don't you? Let's go and go to a different region, shall we? Let's go, let's see here. What part of the globe should we hop to this time, huh? Let's go over to Japan. Let's see what Japan has to offer. And here's what I was kind of talking to you about. They have exclusive box sets. Look at the gorgeousness of this Venom 4K Steelbook set. We don't get sets like this in the States, okay? Especially for random movies. Venom, let there be carnage. Not the greatest movie. We can be, we, we all kind of know that that's the truth. If you like it, that's great. I don't want to shame people for liking weird movies, whatever they like, whatever you like, it's great. But what I can say is that we did not get the steel book in the States with this artwork. I do like the way that looks. We don't get box sets releases like this either. I think that looks very, very strong as well. Go over here, it's just a poster. Go back over here and we get a booklet. But here's what really fascinates me. The artwork that we get that we never saw in the States because of course this is a Japanese release so you're gonna get all of their promotional material. I think all of those look phenomenal. That one might be my favorite, but I like a lot of these. I would say the artwork for Venom, the way Venom looks and every way you can promote Venom is normally better off than what the final product is for a film. Um, I know the new movie Venom The Last Dance is coming out uh, next month, so maybe I'll go see it, even though I thought one was okay and two was not great, but uh, we, we, we shall see, we shall see. There's not a lot of uh, movies coming out that I want to see in October, so I might run out and get that one. But the price for a 4K, 23 This 4K set is cheaper than the DVD in Japan. What's up with that? That makes no sense to me, but I will uh, put a conversion rate of the 4K um, USD to yen or yen to USD on the screen now. So you can see how much that is. I don't think that for the price, that is bad at all. Like at all. I, I think that's pretty dang solid. But let's kind of look at what other steel books Japan has to offer. They have another um, set, a steel book. For Morbius, I'm okay. <laughs> I don't think I need that in my life. Um, a lot of their steel books looks kind of the same. Here is another edition that costs way more. That looks like the only thing it comes extra with is a CD. I'm good. I'm good. You can oh, there's a very cool one for uh, Spider-Man No Way Home and Spider-Man uh, Into the Spider-Verse. That's the same steel book, but there it looks like there's some type of slip that goes over it here. Let me uh, stop sharing here. Man, it's kind of obnoxious that I have to go to different screens just to show you guys. But here is Spider-Man No Way Home. I do not know 10,800 yen. I will pop the price up here. There's only one left, so if you want it, act fast. But uh, here is everything that you get in here in this uh, set. A different steel book than what we got in the States. I love the way that that box looks. That looks phenomenal. It looks like you get a whole bunch of uh, poster cards, art, or, art, yeah, art cards, and uh, little mini character cards as well. That steelbook looks great. I, I don't know how much this costs, but I should look it up because I am liking everything about this set. Because this is what our steelbook looks like. We have this artwork. It's okay. I think I like this uh, Japanese one a little bit better. And then here are all the character cards that we get. I'm a fan of character cards, personally. I like um, to kind of see that. I guess you get Green Goblin, but you don't get William Dafoe. 
that's a choice I guess. That's a choice. And then I wish I would have gotten all of them character cards because there's so many great characters in Spider-Man No Way Home. The rest of them are just like a promotional poster artwork it looks like. But yeah, that set is pretty cool. I will stop sharing. I will go to the original. Actually, I will go and uh, pop up that um, Spider-Man Enter the Spider-Verse Steelbook because I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of intrigued on this one as well. Let me share the screen here on this sucker and uh, let's see everything that we get included on here. This does come with a slip cover. That's awesome. I wish we would have got that in the States. That makes because it just shows the title of the movie. Again, I just talked about how slip covers can add different elements into the movie. This is a very tiny edition, but I think it adds a lot to that final image. I think that looks so strong. Okay, let's look at more of these. The steel book again, exactly the same, but I want that slip cover. I want that slip cover, dang it. That thing looks nice. This booklet looks nice. I won't be able to read any of it, obviously, but the pictures, I'm, I'm a fan of pictures anyway. Speaking of pictures, a lot of very cool character cards in here. I love this. I I have this steel book. There's, it comes with shoelaces? What? Japan, you crazy. I, I need this. <laughs> <laughs> it's going from a want to a need, folks. Again, don't know how expensive this is, but I'll pop the price up here. If there's only two left in stock, I need to figure stuff out on my end just to see uh, if uh, that is worth everything just for an extra slip in character cards. I, I have to do some soul searching on my end on that one. Okay, I, I will say that. Let's continue to look at Japan quickly just to see if there's anything else that... Uh, we should kind of uh, look at here. Anything that's worth showing off. Again, another set for uh, Spider-Man uh, Far From Home this time. And again, this is a uh, this is a very cheap set. This one has come out. Okay, I, I got to go to this one. I got to go to this one. And I think there is... Oh, this one's sold out. So never mind. I'm not even going to showcase it off because I can't show anything to you. So I am going to uh, just continue to scroll down here in Amazon land. We have another one for Enter the Spider-Verse with the slip cover. That looks nice. Arrival, we do not have a steel book like that. That looks phenomenal. Like every time I go, I I don't look at other regions Amazons enough because there are so many very very cool steel books in here. Some of them are exactly the same. I did not know did this get a steelbook? Wow. This says Elvis steelbook, but we're looking at WrestleMania Backlash 2022. I'm a big Edge fan. I want to put my uh, American Psycho slipcover over that steelbook so bad, but I digress. Um, yeah, I think that's everything that Japan has to offer. So let's switch over to one more region just to kind of showcase off all of the varied countries you can jump to. Let's go to... Denmark? Sure. Let's hop over here. The main thing I wanted to showcase off here is this sucker. Is this amazingness, okay? The Frighteners uh, from Turbine Media. This is how I get a lot of my Turbine Media releases. You don't have to worry too much on the shipping side of things. I mean, you do. But I feel like Amazon is the easiest way to deal with overseas shipping. You could wait until it comes to like a Diabolic DVD or an Orbit DVD. I like the Amazon route. I think the Amazon route is pretty, pretty strong. Um, and I love Turbine Media. I love what they do with their releases. I have never seen The Frighteners. This is going to be a blind buy for me. But this was a movie that I just felt like I needed to have in the collection. And uh, they do amazing works with their box sets. So personally, I cannot wait to see how this release turns out. And I can't wait to see the movie because I've wanted to see the movie for the longest time. And as you can see, I already have it in my basket over there. So after this is done, I will be checking it out for sure. Uh, we got Moon Knight, Body Double, Borderlands, Steelbook. Don't know what Rippy is. Don't know what Rippy is, but he uh, looks up to no good and I don't want to mess with him. There's a different Steelbook for the Wicker Man on here than we got in the States, uh, than Lionsgate put out. Again, just a lot of, uh, this is a very cool looking Titans of Colts set. Look at that, and it's pretty dang cheap. 23 bucks, 
sure you got to pay the shipping but if you buy more than one title you'll make the shipping that much more worth it that is a very nice looking titans of cult that i currently do not have i have star trek uh 2009 but i do not have a steel book for star trek 2009 that is that is amazing that be that might be another release that i add to my frighteners just to make the shipping worth it that that's nice that, that's a very nice release See, I, I'm doing shopping. You're watching me decide what movies to add to my collection right now. I hope you are having fun. Um, what, what is page? Why was I on page three already? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I want to say that's a steel book we're getting, except in the States, we're getting a slipcover. I don't know if this one will have a slipcover on it or not. It, uh, it will. Okay, that, that's the exact same release that we're getting here. And it is like all glow in the dark, which is very, very cool to see for that one. I think that's going to absolutely pop for sure. There's a Oppenheimer Ultimate Collector Steelbook Edition. Let's give it a gander, shall we? Um, look at this big set. A different steelbook than what we got over here in the U.S. It also comes in a nice box. And uh, it comes with a big, big poster, some character cards, and all three discs that we currently got which is very cool and unleashing Oppenheimer, which I'm not sure uh, what that book is, but it's always nice to get a little extra in there. 48 bucks for that set. Honestly, does not sound that bad. It looks like it's coming out in uh, mid November there. So uh, definitely one to keep an eye out on for me personally, more turbine media goodness over here. We got barbed wire. I'm not a fan of this movie, so I have no need to add it to the collection, but we don't have a 4K of barbed wire over in the States. I will say that artwork looks amazing, does it not? I like the way that that looks. I, I think that looks great. Um, and again, if you don't have any releases from Turbine Media in your collection, 1000% recommend. 1000% recommend. And then some of these, I don't speak German, so I don't know what to, uh, <laughs> what to look for or what it is. And again, just like over in uh, in the States, you kind of have to uh, do a little bit of research before you just blind buy anything. I want to say the Purple Rain Steel book in the U.S. sold out pretty fast. So that's another factor of shopping in different regions because some regions sell out quicker than others. And if you have a 4K player, you don't have to worry about what region you buy it from. Well, that's just a little uh, taste of what it's kind of like to shop in other regions of the world. So if you like these type of videos and you wanna see more, or you want me to like break down region by region, let me know in the comments. Even if you just wanna see other things that aren't Steelbook related, I focus this specifically on Steelbooks because that's what I absolutely love. But if you wanna see something else, let me know. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see ya. Okay, hello. <laughs> Congratulations, you found the after credit scene. Good for you. Good for you. The CA smart did everything for you. So close, so close. We're here. This is where I go off key and just kind of uh, talk to you personally and ask you a personalized question that only people that get to the end of the video will be able to answer in the comments or at least have any understanding of why they're asking what they're asking. Um, and my question for you is, this was about online shopping on Amazon. I want to know, where do you shop for your physical media online? Because I have three or four different websites. I love me some Amazon, of course. I love me some Orbit, some Diabolic, like I already said. I like HamiltonBook.com. Um, it's a great way to bulk up your collection at a very cheap cost. And recently, they've been getting in a lot more boutique labels, which is kind of cool to see. But I always want to know new places to go. So let me know in the comments what websites you like to shop for your physical media. Thank you uh, for uh, watching this far and I don't have a movie to shove in your face this time. So I guess um, I will grab a movie randomly. We talked about, uh, I don't know, here's Inside Out. Bye bye.